Hello again. <laughs> I guess I'm just glutton for punishment, aren't I? <laughs> it's your King James Bible, the real Bible. And turn in your King James Bible to the book of James, chapter 5. We're going to read one verse. James chapter 5, verse 16. <clears throat> James chapter 5, verse 16 in the King James Bible, the real Bible. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Now, the Catholics in their modern Bible perversions, nearly all of them mess up verse 16 and say, confess your sins or your trespasses. And the uh, Baalite Jesuit Roman Catholic priests will use this with when in their perversions where it says confess your sins or trespasses they will use this verse specifically to justify <laughs> their so-called pedophile priests of today <laughs> it's confess your faults Go to Romans chapter 7. <laughs> Romans chapter 7. <laughs> Romans chapter 7, verses 14 under verse 23 in the King James Bible, the real Bible. We begin at verse 14 on to verse 25 to close out the chapter. <laughs> For we know that the law is spiritual but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, but what I hate, that do I. I hate sin. My own, especially. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Because the law was there to show us that we can't keep it. That we need the Lord Jesus Christ, our Father. The law was our schoolmaster to bring us on to Christ. Okay? Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me... <laughs> That is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil that I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. For the good that I would, for the good I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the 
inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the, serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Now, this is not an excuse <laughs> to justify sin. That's not what Paul is talking about. If you are one of those who read this and go about trying to justify sin in Romans chapter 7, you, you need to read Romans chapter 6, okay? Okay? You read that on your own time. <laughs> I'm a saved sinner. And I still sin. A beloved elder brother left a wonderful, wonderful testimony on one of my videos. And it got me to thinking, and it was beautiful, and I commend this brother. I commend you, brother. You know who you are. And I commented because he he had an accident that was very that hurt him, and the Lord got on him. He he didn't curse or anything, but it came to his mind right away. And a long while ago, when I I, I I've mentioned this in a few of my videos, I believe a while ago I dropped a couch, moving it on my big toe just. Busted it, open, blood all over, where, everywhere. No excuses. No excuses. I cursed when I dropped the couch on my toe. I repented of it immediately. I said, like, oh, you know, ooh, ooh, you know, I'm hopping around, you know. Ooh. And the fact that I did that hurt worse than my bludgeoned toe that was bleeding like a stuck pig all over the place. I commend you, brother, for doing something that I, a sinner who uh, is chief, failed at. God bless you. You know what another fault of mine is? Rapture is not a King James Bible word, and I know that. But even today, even in the last video before this one, I still use the word rapture. And see, I know better but I still use that word, even in witnessing. And I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not going to be like, well, lost people don't understand what you say when you say the catching away. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to say that. I have no excuse. I know better. And I still use that word. But the Lord is getting on me about that and working on that in me. And um, the video that Brother Brian did, I, I publicly confessed it in a comment. But I'm doing it here. <laughs> if any one of you who have watched any of my videos think that I am like this perfectly holy, perfectly sanctified individual who doesn't mess up. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
And if any of you got that impression about me, eh, you want to know another fault? I got a pride problem. I do. I struggle with pride. I struggle with thinking that the world revolves around Brad Paul Avenchein. But see, the Lord has given me a threshing instrument. Um, she's in bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> but see, whenever my pride flares up in me, ooh, the Lord really gets on me and chastens me big time. Big time. And the longer you walk with the Lord, you are grateful and thankful for when the Lord chastens you. The longer you walk with the Lord, the more you appreciate and are grateful for the rebukes that you get. And I've been rebuked by many and corrected by many. I also, <clears throat> another fault, I am, a, uh, I am a dispensational King James Bible believing Christian. And if you watch some of my videos, you'll see that for the dispensation we are in, in some videos, I was calling it the church age. There's problems with that. And you've watched some of my videos, you know that I like to refer to this dispensation as the Christian dispensation. When the Lord has convicted me yet again, it's the time of the Gentiles. This dispensation is the time of the Gentiles. And that's a fault of mine. Another fault that I have is um, when it comes to meeting new people, um, I tend to be naive. And no excuses. No excuses. It's just a fact. I, and I've, I've been <laughs> rebuked on this too. Sometimes I tend to um, be far more lenient with people than I should. And that's cost me. That's cost me. I have called people brother when in retrospect, looking back, I should have never called them my brother. No excuses. No excuses. None.
You know something, Christian? If you ever get to a point in your walk with our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, and you start thinking a little too high of yourself, you need to read this, Romans chapter 7, at least once in a while. And you need to remember, you need to remember that if you're born again, you're a King James Bible believing Christian, you're a saved sinner. And there is no justification for sin, not at all. Like I said, on your own time, read Romans chapter 6, okay? That kind of really clears it up, okay? But see, when you're rebuked, who do you go to? I go right to the Lord, personally, and this book. I don't go to men. I've addressed this in a video before. When challenged, I'm. When I'm cha or when challenged, I. Okay. And you know what? Like I've said, the longer you walk with the Lord, the more grateful you are for rebukes. And you know what, brethren? Um, I, ha I had to share this with you. I really did. See, I love the Lord and I believe this book. And if you twist this book or teach heresy or error while claiming to be a Bible believing, a King James Bible believing Christian, them fighting words. And um, I and a lot of the brethren. Aren't very tolerant about that. You know, you, you know, if you're a novice or a babe, okay, that there, yes, you'd be a little, that yes. But people who are out there twisting the text of scripture right in front of you and changing it right in front of you. <laughs> um. This whole thing with David Daniels, too, is something that's like, wow. I know he called Jesuit James White a brother in Christ. And he gave Brother Matthew quite a hassle about Brother Matthew simply asking him to confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. And then he failed the test. See, we know what's going on, brother. We do. Verse 24 and verse 25 in Romans chapter 7. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Again, you try to twist this to justify your sin, okay? That don't fall apart on me. 
you need to read Romans chapter 6. Okay. I had to share this with you. And you know what, brethren, um, if me confessing my faults like this changes your opinion of me, I love you, I don't really care. We're all going to give account of ourselves to God. And I'm accountable to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Father. And I'm also accountable to you, my brethren. You know who skirts accountability? Lost people. You know who does... Yeah, but... Yeah, I did this, but it was them. Lost people. And um, we know this, don't we? Don't we? And you know what, brethren? Um, we are to be in a process of sanctification. You know, the changed life. And it's a process. Okay? There are things that the Lord gets out of your life, like, instantly. Okay? Okay? But there are other things that are a process. A process. And it doesn't happen right away. <laughs> I'm not a good person. I've, I've, I've told you that before, haven't I? If you were to come up to me, mano y mano, so Brad, you think you're so good, don't you? So, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. Not good, you crazy. Verse 18 in Romans 7, For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. I'm just a sinner who is saved by grace through faith. I am nothing. I am nobody. I'm the least of all saints. And you know what, brethren? That's the right place to be. Right at the feet of our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. Knowing that you're not good. And dependent on Him. For every second. For every breath. For every moment. This is very impromptu, too, by the way, just, just so you know. Um, like I said to that dear elder brother, um, your, your comment really touched me. And then I was watching that video and Brother Brian rebuked me, not me personally, but, he, he, you know, and you know what? Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Paul had a problem with pride, by the way. Remember in the book of Acts when the Holy Ghost was warning them, like, hey, don't go to Jerusalem? Then he said, like, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing breaking my heart? And you want the proof that Paul struggled with pride? I mean, who else? I mean, he was, he was the greatest Christian who ever lived. In many of our opinions, right? But see, he knew. He knew that about himself. That he wasn't a good person. And that he struggled with pride. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through verse 10. Oh, you know we had to go here, didn't you? 2 Corinthians 12. Verses 7 on to verse 10. Of course, go there. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. I believe it was something with his eyes, with the scale thing, you know, that's what I believe. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. What does he mean by that? Isn't that like a contradiction, right? I've heard that before, haven't you? When I am, for when I am weak, then I am strong. See, that's a contradiction, Brad. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Do you get it? Another thing I, I, I got to ask you. Are you afraid to share that with people? I know it says reveal it's not a, a secret to everyone. I just paraphrase that. Beg your pardon. I got to be getting to bed. I got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I still have a job. We're doing because of the um, coronavirus. Um, we do this curbside thing. I make pizza for a living, right? People can't come in, but we can make the pizzas and bring them out to them. You know, we don't cook them. We're take and bake. So, praise the Lord, I still have a job. So, still be able to make some money to pay these bills and, you know, try to find a new house. But, um, you know, brethren, I'm just a sinner, but I'm a saved sinner. How about you? How about you? 
another thing that I have to, while I'm here, just laying it out all for you. Go ahead. Go ahead, all my enemies. Go ahead. Go ahead. But um, this is another reason why um, I've mentioned this before. I, am, I, I personally am kind of very reluctant now to join a beloved brother on a live stream. Because I talk too much on those things. And it's a fellowship. And the Lord has really convicted me. Because I, I've, I've actually watched a couple of those uh, that I was involved in. Man. I'm sorry, brethren for doing that uh, to you on who um, join uh, our beloved brother Bob on his channel that those of you who had been involved when I was there in the stream uh, I'm sorry for ever just ba 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 I'm sorry forgive me but um, I had to make this. <laughs> I didn't want to make this, but I had to. This isn't about me, but I kind of had to humble myself for you. Anyway, that's it. That's it. I've got to get going to bed, you know. Gotta go to work. I love you, brethren. And uh, I'm praying for you, my brothers and sisters. And um, please pray for my wife, Susan, and I, please, if you will. Uh, we need all the, we need all the prayers we can get. So, anyway, that's enough. Enough. I love you. I'll see you in the next video, whenever or whatever that will be. Okay?